The Bible says every bed whereon he lieth that hath the issue is unclean, and every thing whereon he sitteth shall be unclean. You know, the world worries about contagions, germs, sicknesses, viruses. We spend and try to keep ourselves clean and separate from all those little particles that might infect us. We wash our hands. We sanitize. We clean to keep our bodies free from the germs that are all around us and threaten to undo us. Even in recent years, we've seen the hysteria of hand washing, hand sanitizing, to try to keep yourself from the next bug, the next contagion that it might take you down. And yet the Bible in the book of Leviticus speaks about the uncleanness of men and women. And that uncleanness, though physical in the scripture here, is a picture of the spiritual uncleanness that infects and can infect all of us. We see here that the issue that a man may have will infect everything around him and needs to be kept separate so that you too are not touched with his uncleanness. Sin is the ultimate contagion. Sin is the most contagious. It'll affect your house. It'll affect the saddle you sit on. It'll affect the bed you're lying on. If you read Leviticus 15, the uncleanness of a man, the issue that runs out of him can just taint everything. Keep your distance. Wash it with running water. Make sure you're not touched with this contagion. And if you and I would have that diligence with sin that we have with our hand washing, we'd be a better people. We'd be a stronger people. We'd be a more God-glorifying people. Because it's not coronavirus or the flu that you need to worry about most. It's the sin in your life and someone else's life that is the ultimate contagion you need to be washed from.